Hello and welcome back to another session of Alan Wake 2. Previously on Alan Wake 2, we wrote some stuff. Let's continue the game. Do you like that? Short, sweet, gets right to the point. Because that's what we do here. We write stuff. Stuff happens. Mr. Scratch shows up sometimes. Like last time. And for some reason, I didn't think to... Didn't think to shoot him with anything. I just thought he needs a flare. Oh, the fool I was. I have to work this out on the case board. You really don't remember Logan living in Virginia with me and David? Uh, I remember you and David having problems. You needed a break. You and Logan moved to Watery and... And then, uh... Then Logan... Oh, well, that awful thing happened. After you came back to work, I thought you'd be the perfect partner for this case. If you were willing to return to the area. Okay. That's enough. The story is changing your memories. What you're remembering is fiction. Logan is alive. I'm not divorced. We never moved here. I remember the truth. No, no, no. Wake or Scratch, whoever that was, said the story could be used to attack us. We all need to question what's real. With that said, how do we know the story isn't giving you false hope? I can't convince them. I just need to change the story. Oh my god. It keeps going around in circles. Ellen Wake. Uh, this is the kind of case my ex hated. The ones that might kill me. <sighs> That's funny. The cases that might kill me were my ex's favorite. Alan Wake and Cold Connections summary. In 2010, writer and suspected para-utilitarian Alan Wake was reported to have disappeared to Cauldron Lake, a known threshold site. Wait, did I already read this? Yeah, yeah, yeah I did, I did. Um, the Lake House. Yeah, we read that too. Okay. Let's not, let's not reread stuff. What about this document? No, no, it's for the puzzle. So, um, now what? Oh, yeah, I got a profile. <laughs> to my mind palace. Wake has been attacked. Or Wake attacked. Dude, yeah, Wake's still stuck in the dark place. Wake is trapped in the dark place. He's been reaching out, communicating with me in the overlaps. Wake is in the dark place. Been there the entire time? Definitely there now. The thing that attacked Casey at Wake's face. There was never any Wake. It was scratched the entire time. Wake has been contacting me from the dark place. And Scratch wanted the same thing as Wake, the clicker. Oh, I thought that would be the solution. Their goals were the same. Could could mean Scratch and Wake are one and the same, or just a coincidence. When that insane monster cloud came at me in the woods, I saw a face inside it. Wake's. I think he was always a monster. Always Scratch. Casey thinks Wake is Scratch and always has been. Certainly possible. I assume something strange was happening with time, but if it's simpler than that. So, he is there. Did he ever get out? What the hell is going on here? The big apple in an ocean of darkness. Gone diving. Note from my editor. You're using the wrong tense. Trapped in a loop. My friends will meet him when I'm gone. Oh, 
Oh, there's still something for the Coscola brothers. Elmo said the cult kills taken. Is he telling the truth? Surplus deer masks by in bulk. We've got a floater, a taken on the shore. Call the gang, Yako. We are going hunting. Cult of the tree. Keeping the town safe since 2013. Elmo is telling the truth about the cult. They really were fighting the Taken. We're on the same side. They were the good guys this entire time. If the cult is killing Taken, then why did Nightingale turn into one? Private party. Invitation only. Wrong time. Wrong place. Time to go, Yako. A job half done isn't done at all. Nightingale became a Taken because the Bookers interrupted their ritual. Well, look at all these songs. I'm gonna deal with the situation, Elmo. But the town will need protection until we sort this out. I could use your help. Right. Right. I'll round up the gang. Whoever's left. We won't let these fucking monsters hurt any more of our people. We'll do my brother proud. Thank you, Elmo. Anyone down here? It's just vibrating in here. What the fuck? My next move. Examine the files in the lock cell. The heck? An electrical lock system with no failsafe. Smart. Security measure. I understand there's a need to keep the arrested folks under lock and key, but who the heck is the paranoid madman who decided we needed every other door in our facility to be geared with the latest high tech top security nonsense? The stuff's not safe. One power outage and those locks aren't budging. I've warned you about this half a dozen times now. Don't blame me when you're locked in on, with no way out, Officer Cooper. Damn. Sheriff Breaker. Um, third annual community outreach barbecue. Hey, gang, the annual event you've all been eagerly waiting upon is up upon us again. The community outreach barbecue. Now, I don't want to hear any grumbling. This is a valuable opportunity to connect with the community. Statistics show that I'm officers so sorry, who are well integrated with the communities they serve see lower instances of violent crime in their precincts more effective in their policing and have overall better mental wellness. This is for your benefits. So take it seriously. The community voted dunk tank victim this year will be, drumroll please, Deputy Thornton. Congratulations. Looks like everyone's getting retribution for that speed trap on 12C at last, eh? A friendly reminder that anyone out sick on the day needs to provide a written doctor's note. You'll be assigned a night shift for two weeks. Anyone who replies all the... To complain about their assignment will be volunteering as the assistant for Officer Lightfoot's magic routine. Bullshit. My front desk computer admin email are not to be used for personal quarrels or other unofficial business. And remember to wash your coffee mugs. 
Let's see. From the sheriff's station admin, not your personal assistant. Since my numerous friendly reminders about not having personal packages delivered to the station have gone unheeded, from here on out, if you've seen fit to send something to the station, I will see fit to announce to the station what you have received. Is it a federal offense to open someone's mail? Yes, it is. Is it a personal offense that I need to share my desk space with your late night impulse buys? Yes, it is. You have been warned. Admin, P.S. Officer Lightfoot, your beard oil is ready for pickup. Oh, damn. Shots fired. From Officer Chet Yazi. I knew Marco's beer was too soft to be natural. What brand is he using, Lucy? Uh, from Hannah Oshinoya. Chet, I hate to break it to you, but you need to have a face capable of growing a beer to make effective use of beer oil. Damn. Kill the Joe, mix a mo. This is the third time this week I've come in for late shift and there's no coffee in the machine. You take the last cup, you brew a new batch. Got drama in the workplace. The lake is a gateway to the dark place. Deployment order urgent situation approximately 1900 hours on 13th the 13th of September 2023 Readings from a remote surveillance unit monitoring Cauldron Lake a known threshold of what researchers theorize is the original dimension of A-040 the shadow past acceptable limits Attempts to contact FPC's FPC research facility WA03 codenamed the lake house were unsuccessful on-site event verification is not possible Response procedures are initiated with immediate effect. Lead agent K. Estevez will mobilize investigation unit beta from the remote operations site at Redacted. All available shadow specific equipment, lot 4 11B, has been approved for use in the field. To confirm an active event, if an active AWE is occurring, the dispatch team will identify its nature and severity, limit exposure, and attempt to contain or neutralize the source. If no event is active, Check monitoring equipment, perform a limited, limited profile sweep of the area, and check status of the lake house and staff. Additional information, relevant operatives in the area include the Cult of the Tree, Redacted, and Alan Wake, currently missing. What the hell is a para-utilitarian? Summary of findings, description para-utility. Based on reports, the item is a light switch from a lamp cord, which is part of the severed core still attached. Eyewitness accounts suggest that the item possesses the ability to alter reality, the changes being based on redacted when used by a capable para-utilitarian. Parsing this item's effect from that of the cultural like threshold responsible for recurring AWEs in the area is difficult because the only reported uses of the item have occurred near this threshold. Without more data, we cannot confirm if the item intensifies the effect of the threshold or vice versa, or if there is no connection whatsoever. Recorded material from Dr. Hartman after becoming a Taken have revealed that Alamake eliminated Barbara Jagger, likely a f physical manifestation of a, of a blank, by inserting the light switch into its chest and flicking the switch. The item is confirmed to have been used in 2010 to turn fictional writing into reality. See file AWE35. However, it is unclear what the restrictions and limitations of this effect are. The light situation is a possible o o o double, double OP, but the team cannot conclusive, conclusively classify the item based on secondhand accounts. Proper examination and testing is required in order to determine classification and precise effect of the item. Okay. Here we go. Wakes in the dark place and Cauldron Lake is the threshold to it. Transcript of interview with subject Alan Wake, suspected para-utilitarian. Location, Bright Falls, Washington. Interviewer, Kieran Estevez, lead agent. Mr. Wake, you have been taken to FBC custody and I will receive an in-depth interrogation at a later date. But for now, I need to ask if there is anything you can tell us regarding the incident at the hotel. Anything we may need to know. There is a force here you don't understand. A presence. It's after me. It wants to consume me. 
Consume everything. Yes, you mentioned this dark presence before. Why does it want you? It feeds on artists. They are the create. It wants me because of my writing. But it could be any form of art. Any artistic expression. Music, painting, film, photography. It could feed on any of it. All of it. You have to believe me. We are well aware of this entity, Mr. Wake. We've been tracking the situation here for a long time now. You yourself have been on our radar for over a decade. I'm sure those nuts in the research department are just going to love checking you out. Hey, make a note to redact that before submission. Let's get back on track. You mentioned a light switch earlier. Where is it now? I don't know, but I need it. I can't end this without it. Will you help me get it? Mr. Wake, you're in custody. Pending charges for breaching of numerous federal violation codes. We're not going to give you a suspected paranormal object. You're not fucking listening to me. We are listening just fine. Now, do you have any accomplices? Fuck you. Let me the fuck out of here. It's coming for me. We're all in danger. Interview is terminated due to subject being uncooperative. Yeah, yeah, I would swear it. I'll be like, fuck you. What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck? I did not notice those people there. So now what do I do? Oh, there's still more to it. No, there's no one. Wake here. isn't the first person the dark presence disguised itself as. Report supplement the shadow. Through extensive interviews with witnesses of AWE-35, additional details regarding the shadow have been discovered. Redacted and redacted, both pre present during the AWE, reported seeing a woman named Barbara Jagger in Bright Falls at the time. Jagger is a former actress and Bright Falls resident who emigrated with the filmmaker Thomas Zane from Finland and was reported to have drowned in Cauldron Lake during a redacted AWE in 1970. Research staff have concluded that Jagger's appearance is likely a case of the shadow manifesting in human form. Research is ongoing as to the nature of the connection between the shadow and the psychophysical signatures available for it to mimic. Current hypotheses are the, sh the shadow can only manifest as artists or individuals tangent and tangentially involved with the creation of art who have operated within a certain physical range of Cauldron Lake. The shadow can manifest as any individual contained definition needed within Cauldron Lake. Research is actively ongoing. I need to know what information I can still trust. Trusting Wake. Wake told me the clicker would fix this. But Wake was actually Scratch. How can I trust anything he said? The artist must conclude his work. He rides a storm on your piece. Wake up and smell the danger. We told you already, kiddo. What Tom said about the light switch is true. Don't let the story confuse you. You need him to write the ending you want. The clicker can make that ending come true. But we don't have Wake. Everything we knew about the clicker was true. He wasn't lying. So the cold of the tree actually kills Taken. They were on our side, even if their methods are misguided and criminal. It looked right from where we were standing. Nothing's what it seems in this case. Too many stories contradicting each other. 
too many versions of the truth. We have a lot of catching up to do after this thing is all over. Everything is different now. My family, me, the whole fucking world. I'll buy the coffee, Anderson. Partners to the end. This case is one for the books. I see what you did there. Oh, please don't die, Kixi. <laughs> Meet the mayor, huh? Maybe I should swing by Suomi Hall. Mayor said it won't roll over on the issues. The hell is this? Piece of paper, huh? Oh, the cult finds the clicker. After getting his hands on the FBC files, Ilmo Koskalan knew what he was up against. He masterminded the cult, his and Yako's army, to fight the fucked up horror lurking under the lake, and a plan to keep those feds in their bunker by the lake in the dark. Outsiders would only screw things up. The Koskalas sabotaged the FPC's monitoring station and rigged it to alert them when something was brewing at the lake. One time months later, when the alarm rang, they drove to the lake again, ready for a fight. But this time, they didn't find any monsters. Something else washed ashore. The light switch. They'd read how Wake had stopped Jagger with it in the stolen files. From that point on, whenever the cult caught someone taken over by the shadow, they cut out the monster's heart, pushed the switch into the hole, and flicked it. And that's how they would eradicate the Taken. So I think we have to go to Cauldron Lake. I'm just gonna go there anyways, because I, I know there's a bunch of like stuff I can backtrack to. It's dark out here. Oh yes, yeah, this area. This is the most demanding area in the game. <laughs> Like, it's certainly creepy out here, man, because you can't really see a lot. Just lots of thick foliage and areas where you can get cornered if you're not careful. Alright, we got the bolt cutters. Now we can finally get through here.
Whoops. Is there anything in here? I thought there would be something in here. Guess not. Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Here we go. His hair was longer than I remembered. Blowing gently in the cold night breeze, I put my hand to his cheek to confirm that he was indeed real. And he was. He was real. Feeling his handsome beard, wild but neatly trimmed beneath my fingers, proved it. You're back, I breathed. Yes, I'm back. I wasn't cold any longer. I'm back. Oh my god, I'm just... They should have had an animation where as you're walking in, you can just close the door behind you. Another locked box. Screwdriver. What? What the heck? Beautiful music. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I forgot my glass was right there. Uh, you know what? No, it's not gonna let me progress. I don't think we're at that point yet, are we? Okay, so I do have to go back and ask Estevis about the clicker, but since I'm already here, why not just look around anyways? Um, I could probably just go around and... Here we go. the same paper as that box earlier so what the hell is this mean I mean it's a map to get to the key I'm assuming but Oh, what the hell is that? <clears throat> oh my god, there's more spots here? Jeez, this is a whole area. Oh, another rhyme. Property seizure notice. Oh my god, dude. I move away from the door so it doesn't do that.
Our hero, courageous and true, stalked by the monster hatch he threw. The clever crows call their warning and keep an eye on the battle forming. When the fight is done and over, the hero and the crows reap the rewards left for her. I must have gone all of them, right? I'm trying, damn it. <laughs> That's not right. Doesn't look right. I think I have the all the dolls. I think I can actually do these puzzles now, but I just suck at riddles. <laughs> Anything about ordering some food soon. Let's see. Wait, it said something about a monster? Stalked by the monster hatching through. Yeah, I don't have the monster doll. I think I don't think I have that. So I am missing a doll. What the fuck? Where's, where's the last doll then? I don't know where the I don't know where the dolls are. Fuck, Kimmy. I don't know where to find this doll at. I mean, it must be around here in the lake. Maybe I'll stumble upon it later. So I can't do this right now. Birds, watching you like in that movie, but protective, not attacking. Mythical inspiration, guardian spirits, Norse mythology, or ancient Egyptian? Corvus Carax from the family Corvidae. It's not height. Mm. <sighs> Damn it. Research civilism and uses. Element stalking monster, watchful birds. Stakes can't be too high for both for both risk management and fruitful outcomes. Make sure the rhyming is looser this time. Need to test this approach for possibly more ambiguous interpretational results.
Who? Where's the monster? Oh man, it's in watery. I <laughs> can't go over there. At least not right now. Where am I at right now? What? <clears throat> I gotta get it. I need it. Right here, apparently. Somewhere around here. What the? There is a door animation for that. What? What the hell? Bro, I was just sitting right here the entire time. I'm like, oh man, I gotta go all the way to watery for it. What do you mean? What do you mean? God, idiot. <laughs> okay, we could do this puzzle. I think that was the one we were missing. I do this. Doesn't make sense. Oh god, what 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 doesn't make sense? That was me actually trying to yell too. <laughs> I'm like, well, me too. I'm stumped. <laughs> think, Saga. I I'm, I'm thinking here. I'm trying to think. Well, I'm actually just doing the process of elimination, but.
What the heck? Well, I guess we'll come back to it later. Six, two, four. What's that for? There's stash I didn't see. Where? It's gotta be a stash, right? I guess we'll just come back here later. that's padlocked we got a screwdriver over in the stream side station I can't, oh. Chaos at Cauldron Lake. Rampage of the rental cabins. Unidentified man attacks vacationers in the dead of night. Sunday, an idyllic evening of barbecuing and late night fishing was violently disrupted Saturday as a mysterious assailant attacked park visitors. Causing chaos and destruction. Hey, why is destruction spelled that, uh, spelled as with an I? at the cabins. The incident left three people injured, one of which was has been admitted to the county hospital. As to whether the attacker is still at large, Bright Falls police have yet to make an official statement, leaving local residents in a state of uncertainty. Dear God. Witnesses to the crime were visibly shaken, one of whom stated, one minute we were laughing and toasting some marshmallows, the next we heard screaming coming from up the cabins. We didn't know what was going on, so we called the police and started running in the opposite direction, said Kurt Mill. Another eyewitness who preferred to remain anonymous said, It's like he appeared out of nowhere. Suddenly my, dars, my dog starts barking his head off and this cycle guy comes crashing through the trees. Don't think I'll ever feel safe in this forest again. I read this before. Once again, danger in Bright Falls. I guess make our way over to Streamside. You know, the car's over there. We could just go back to the car. Go back, safety, civilization.
Oh wait, let's check out the FBC machine. Wait, 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 don't get, don't get caught up. We have somewhere else to go. God, it's dark out here. We may or set her here. And now, the sheriff's station? Did you hear? Hear what? Apparently, they locked up that crime writer, you know. The one who disappeared in Bright Falls years ago. And then, they find him, and boom! All hell breaks loose. Big city folk. The FBI. Famous writers. Ugh. They're all bad luck, if you ask me. Standing right here, guys. Oh! Hello, Mayor Setter. Nice to meet you. He's the mayor. Sure, well, I'm gonna have a dog for a mayor. Marks all nearby resources and points of interest. Oh, wow. Tom the Poet. A film by Thomas Zane. Wait, what? A pinprick of light in an ocean of darkness starring Thomas Zane as the diver, Barbara Jagger as the dark prince, and Cynthia Weaver as the lady of the light, Emile Hartman as the assistant. Written and directed by Thomas Zane, based on a novel by Alan Wake. A Dark Place and Not a Lake Production.
Well, that's the cutest mare I've ever seen, for sure. Well, time to head back. Driving, driving back to Bright Falls. Imagine if they still had the driving in this game. This would actually be fucking scary driving around. Just hoping that no take can actually come out to the... The game just crashed. Uh, let me relaunch the game real quick. What the hell? Um... Maybe because check. Stream still alive? Stream still alive. Oh, um, I guess. Fuck, I, uh... I don't know what's going on here, but, uh... Oh, that's not good. Well, it looks like my preview window isn't working, but I can see that the screen is being captured. Well, I mean, as long as, uh, as long as you guys can still see it, I guess we don't have to worry. It just isn't showing on my end right now, because, uh, I don't know, I guess, uh, that crash just broke the preview window on OBS. It's starting me back here.
parks. Okay, back to uh, Agent Estevez. Scratch told me the clicker can be used to change the story. Does that match your understanding of this thing? Yeah, the light switch is a paranatural item, maybe even an object of power. We have verified reports that Alan Wake was in possession of it during the AWE here back in 2010. It definitely has power. We know that much. I can come up with a plan. I always do. Deduction available. The clicker can fix this, but I can't use it without Wake. Tor knows about this stuff. Maybe he can help. Rescuing Wake. Wake is still in the dark place. How do I get him out? We live and breathe rock and roll. From the silence of screams, from the fever of dreams. The clicker can amp up other works of art, not just Tom's writing. Anything created with passion. The dark power of the lake will make it creep into reality. But if the holder of the clicker believes in the art, they can make it all come true in the flick of a switch. I can use the clicker without Wake. Only Wake's writing can change the horror story. But I can use the clicker to change something else. Like getting Wake out of the dark place. Heck of a gamble. If that pays off, though. The clicker can be used by anyone so long as the holder believes in the power of the art's message. I will use the clicker to change reality and bring Wake back at Cauldron Lake. I'll need the right work of art, but that won't be a problem. I've got it now. I just need to tell the others what to do and fix everything for good. So we need Wake to fix the story, right? That hasn't changed. So here's what I have. Wake's still trapped in the dark place under the lake. I think we can use the clicker to get him out. But first, we need a work of art, something other than his story. And that'll get him here. I'm not filling out the paperwork for this one. I wouldn't know where to start. But I'm sold. Okay. Look, this feels like something that once we get the ball rolling, there's no turning back. You sure you have it all figured out? This is the beginning of the end game. To travel to Cauldron Lake, you need to save your game first. Exploring and traveling to other areas will be limited if you choose to continue. Not just yet. Give me a moment. Okay, Anderson. You let me know when you're ready. I will, because I'm just gonna drink this coffee mug. Does that mean I could switch realities now and check out Wake in the Dark Place? Wait, is there not a puddle here? Shit. You.
Where's the, uh... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's over here, right? Oh, wait, hold on. Alex Casey, FBI, description of injury, 2218. Subject seems physically weakened with some confusion about his whereabouts and events. Concussion, similar symptoms to those becoming shaded individuals. Exposure to the, exposure to the shower is suspected but not confirmed. Physical wounds are minimal. Lay abrasions, possible mild concussion. 730, continued observation shows no signs of increased aggression in subject. Subject remains aware and coherent. Starkly different progression than other victims. Reasons for exceptional re result unknown. Less severe exposure, subject's resilience, intention intentionality on Shadow's part, requires further examination or testing. What the fuck? I can't find any puddles now. That means I have to run all the way to the lodge. Holy shit, you scared uh, me. I think you may be right. Might have been a mistake to come here. I don't think Marcy's coming back. Fuck, Riley. This is so messed up. I know. Uh, I think you may be right. Might have been a mistake to come here. I don't think Marcy's coming back. Fuck, Riley. This is so messed up. I know. I'm sorry. Hey, it's not your fault. We all knew what we were signing up for. He didn't have anything to say, really. Here we are. Now can I progress more as Alan, or do I still have to go through it? Maybe I have to go the rest of the way of Saga now. 